Question one of June 2013, core one, is a, a nice start, but a lot of people struggle with it. Um, we have this point here, and we're sticking it into this line here because we know it's on the line. So we put in the P, the X value, where the X is. That gives us 3P. And we're putting this value here, the Y coordinate, where the Y is. Um, P plus 2 plus 5 equals 0. So we just got a little equation to solve here, being careful with the, the minus 2 times 4 here is the minus 8 and so we've got minus p minus 3 equals 0 or p equals minus 3 a reasonable start there and the gradient of a b so the gradient of a b again we're looking at this one here this this version doesn't tell us the gradient we need to rearrange it to get it in the form y equals mx plus c to do that simplest way to do that is just to add this 4y to both sides we get that and now divide everything by four so we've got three quarters x plus five over four and from that we can see that the number of x's here is our gradient and so our gradient here is three quarters another two marks for that um, point a has got coordinates one two and this point here has got the radiance minus five k and it's perpendicular the word perpendicular, of course, means that it meets it at 90 degrees. And if you've got perpendicular gradients, you're going to do minus 1 over the other gradient here. So the perpendicular to this one here would be minus 1 over 3 quarters, which is minus 4 over 3. We're looking for a gradient of minus 4 over 3. Let's go back and find out what those numbers we were looking for. 1, 2 and minus 5k so we're going from 1 2 and we're going to minus 5k how far along is that going from 1 to minus 5 that's down 6 here to here from 2 to k is k minus 2 the gradient here is k minus 2 over minus 6 equals minus 4 over 3 I'm going to times both sides by 6, and that gives me 24 over 3. 24 over 3 is 8, and add the 2, so I've got k equals 10. Um, and the last line here then, it says, uh, this line AB, oh yeah, some strange ways of doing this. Uh, we've got to try and find out this line here is the first line of AB, and that needs to cross this line here. AB needs to cross this one here at a coordinate. So we need to find out when these two things are equal. That just means solving the simultaneous equation that you've got there. We've got 3x minus 4y equals minus 5. And the other one, we've got 2x minus 5y equals 6, just sort of rearranging those. Um, what should we do to those? Should we times that one by 2 and times that one by 3? Normal sort of thing for rearranging these equations. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get 6x minus 8y equals minus 10 times this one by 3. 6x minus 15y equals 18. And if we subtract those equations from each other, 6 taken by 6 gives nothing. Got to be careful here with my two negatives. Minus 8 minus minus 15 is 7. And minus 10 minus 18, that's minus 28. So y must be equal to minus 4. And stick that back in one of these. And you're going to get x equals minus 7. That took a while. That's question one. Uh, mark scheme for question one then is here. Pause it if you need it and I'll stop.